Today, we're rating USC, the most expensive, scummiest, scammiest university on the West Coast. Come on, man, you're gonna hit me with I wasn't even looking, man. Hey, but you're gonna play it. That's what we brought you here for. Do you or do you not work for a pyramid scheme? Bring over an Instagram girl, we take a sh in her face, man. Come on, man, I'm trying to take a sh She say 50,000, man, I can take a sh The cost of USC is absurd. Tuition for one year here is 66 grand. Multiply that by four and add in all your living expenses, and a USC education will run you almost $400,000. But don't worry, USC has a squeaky clean brand worth paying for. What is the biggest scandal that's happened at the school? There's a lot. Like <laughs> Breaking tonight the largest sex abuse settlement ever against any college or university in this country. More than 700 women branded former University of Southern California gynecologist a sexual predator. Illegal drug use, prostitutes, and partying with teenagers. Tonight, explosive claims about the former head of USC's renowned Keck School of Medicine. We're here today to announce charges in the largest college admissions scam ever prosecuted by the Department of Justice. Lori Laughlin and her husband, fashion designer Massimo Giannulli have been charged with conspiracy to commit mail fraud for allegedly paying more than $500,000 in bribes to get both of their daughters admitted to USC, getting them on the rowing team, a sport which neither of them has ever participated in. USC and the city it's in have the same ethos, status above everything else. But while we all know the guy in the Lambo is a douche, nobody questions the most idiotic status symbol of all. College. It's yeah. a scam, college. college. Well, it has is become a huge in many ways. Scam. You don't need college to learn it, learn stuff. You can learn anything you want for free. I think it is a big problem that education has just kept raising the price, raising the price, raising the price. Since 1985, the average cost of college has risen 500%. 40 consecutive years in a row, tuition has gone up faster than inflation. The quality of education hasn't gone up. Economic uncertainty is greater than ever. More than half of the unemployed right now have college degrees. So it doesn't get people jobs, right. which is the big myth. There's no need even to have a college degree okay. at all. Imagine I take a high school senior, Todd. Todd wants to make money. A USC administrator approaches and says, we'll teach you how. But your net worth is going to instantly become negative 360 grand. Well, unless USC has a secret major that teaches them how to shit up gold bars, Todd should kick that administrator in the nuts. Convincing kids that debt will get them rich is like convincing a porn star to chop off his cock. Not only will it not help, it's fundamentally at odds with the goal. But that's the key to this racket, convincing kids. Let's go back to 2011. A young Danny Mullen, after spending his high school years dicking off, cleans up his act in community college and is accepted into UCLA and USC. In terms of ranking, prestige, social life, they were basically the same school. Except one cost 50k more per year. But, asshole that I was, I still wanted to go to USC! I didn't have the life experience to respect dollar figures that high. Kids have this vague idea they're gonna pay the debt by making a six-figure salary. That's hard on its own. But even if you do, that $100,000 salary is gonna get chopped in half by taxes, and then again by more than half for your living expenses. But that debt you owe USC? It doesn't get chopped by shit. In fact, it grows because of interest payments on the loan. There are only two people willing to give a 17-year-old a $100,000 loan. One is a loan shark, and the other, well, she kind of works for the government. Her name is Sally Mae. Working mother Paige McDaniel used a Sally Mae government loan 20 years ago to pay for her business degree. What is your actual balance right now? $304,000. You don't think we're trying to young people in this country, the only debt that's not dischargeable in bankruptcy is student loan debt. That is morally corrupt. Universities should be on the hook for bad debt. I don't know why this racket's allowed to continue. To me, it's every bit as unethical as a guy going around on the street signing people up for some sort of pyramid scheme. Or more corrupt, because these high school kids consenting to decades of debt slavery are 17. You can't consent to buy a pack of cigarettes when you're 17. I ended up going to UCLA, thank God, and it was cheap. But if I could do it all again, I just wouldn't go. All I learned about was the Second Crusade and what the inside of a pie fies pussy felt like. If you want to learn real stuff, guys, move to a big city and get an entry-level job in an industry you're interested in. You'll learn a lot more, a lot faster than you would in a classroom, and your pay will grow as you gain competence and skills. Also, if you move to a big city, you'll meet plenty of chicks, so don't let that be your excuse for wasting four years and a few hundred grand.
And that concludes today's lecture. Now it's time to teach a lesson to these spoiled f**ks at USC. Leo and I are going in as two worthless rich kids. He, the heir to an oil fortune. Me, the son of a real estate mogul. And if our grades don't get us in, my daddy will. Using the USC admission scandal playbook. The prep organization at the center of the scandal was founded by William Singer. Singer allegedly worked with parents to fake athletic credentials to get students onto college athletic teams. Using that strategy, we'll pose as obscure athletes, throw around cash, and appeal to the faculty directly. So come along as we raid the biggest scam of a college in America, USC. With your SAC score, SAT score, I know you weren't getting in a regular school. It's a private school. I got money. We're going to get you in here. Maybe some sort of scholarship. We'll figure it out. You too, big guy. Scholarship sounds good. I pay for the scholarship. You know, it's not that kind of scholarship. But you got to throw some, some money at the probably. I'll you know? throw some money at some hookers, I'll tell yeah, you that that's, much. That yeah. sounds good to me too, man. Let's get this done so I can get a little tang. In Dubai, we got some good you hookers, man. Sorority girls are hookers if you give them enough money, huh, Pops? Everybody's a hooker with enough money. That's right. So, Pops, you don't think they're going to buy this? The work on the badminton team at USC? You're going to be on the badminton team. Who can't play badminton? I can't play badminton. What you're going to play it today? I want to beat your ass. Hey, yo, you got a sign-up sheet? How do we get everybody in here? We're going to play some badminton. You got a sign-up sheet, or how do we do this? We sign up for each week's practice the week before. Each week's practice, okay, but we're here to play a game, not practice, so. Yeah, we're ready to go. You don't play with games. You don't play a game? You guys don't play games? We don't play games either. That's why we're trying to get in and out and get out of here. We it. need a couple of pictures, a couple of videos, and then we can get out. I mean, I know how things go usually go, but they can go different today. Pops, I don't know if you could level with me, but it seems like they're making too big. This is a silly little sport anyway. I, we're not going to take up hey, much room. Hey, but you're going to play it. That's what we brought you here for. Hey, don't, don't to play a little out. badminton. You just need a couple of pictures, man. Manny, hit the birdie. What the hell's wrong with you? It's like 3 in the morning in Dubai, man. I got jet lag. Well, I don't right? know the rules. I don't know how I'm supposed to serve. What are you, do what are you doing on this side? I'm sorry. I'm what are you doing on I'm this side? Like, I, I just came you. from Dubai, man. I just came from Dubai, man. I have to listen to my pops, I'm telling you, you guys don't know who this guy is. It's going to be bad for everybody if he doesn't get his way. Just hit the shot. Let's I don't go. mean to air out your business, pops. You know what? You know I love you. Shut up. Why do you always do this when I tell you I love you? So if Come on, man. Get it over. Is that, is that what I paid for lessons for? Is that what I paid for lessons for? Excuse me, I'm, I'm speaking. Thank you. Give me a second shot. You get two in the thing. What are we doing? Uh, get it over the net, man. What? I tell you I love you and I am vulnerable for one second. You got to freak out. Hit the birdie underneath. What, would I, what did I pay for? What did I pay for lessons for? You're just a moron. This is a cocaine hallucination of yours. I've never taken lessons. How are we going to get in here? We didn't get a shot of you playing badminton or me, man. All right. We got to get another shot, man. I, I brought some other stuff. I brought some other gear. Let's do a quick costume change. Is that OK? Is that all right, Pops? Yeah, whatever you want to do, man. It's up to you because you're not listening to me. This is my son. This is my real son. Right Thank here. you, my friend. Pops, don't, I, I know you're joking, but don't talk like that. You know, don't talk like that. Who's joking? How you doing? You guys here for MMA? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I got my son here. We got some video of him for extracurricular for the school. I want him to get out there with somebody and prove that he's not a f pussy. Okay, so you don't have to talk like that. We don't. You don't, you don't have to talk like that in front of Shut up! Now you just get out there and do no. what you're supposed to do. We won't do that. What do we need? We need a few no. bucks. So no. what, what do you what do you need? Come on, take the money. Take the money. He's rich. He's a billionaire, man. He's a billionaire, man. I think we should call security. Yeah. Well, come on, don't. Is do this that. what you want, pops? Is this what you want? Can someone just spar, just show him a little bit? Just show him a couple moves? He's down, he's down, he's down. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, Justin wants to prove something, Pops. No, no, Justin, this is not the way we do this. 
Thank you. We can go light. It doesn't. Have to, we don't actually do anything. It, believe me, it's going to be worse in the car with him than it is with any of you. Domestic abuse. Five minutes for you guys to leave. But we get five minutes, right? Can him and I just spar, which is the video article? Five you guys minutes. will not be allowed at all to spar here. What are you waiting for, Danny? Oh, you, why, what the hell, man? That was a blind side, man. Oh. Come on. This Come on, man. Let him, let him Come on, man. You're going to hit me when I wasn't even looking. Get the f*** out there. What I can't you? leave. You see this, man? They're going to call the f*** cops. Domestic abuse. You know how much blow you got in your f jacket right now? We can't. Shut the f*** up. Hello. We're asking them to leave. I'm trying to leave. You won't let me off the uh, mat. I had enough. I, I had enough of you. You're out. You're out of my life. You're out of the house. Out of my life. He's going to beat the shit out of him, man. He's going to beat the shit out of him. Man. Stop Funny, man. Hey, stop laughing, man. That's. Yeah. Dude, keep that on because he's gonna hit you, you know? Come on. You guys don't know the hell that awaits me in the car. You guys don't know. It's always in the car, man. It's always in the car. You know what it feels like to get sucker punched in the passenger seat of a Lexus, dude? By your own dad? While we're walking to the next bit, you know what'll help keep you warm this Christmas season? A subscription to the Danny Mullen Patreon. We're not gonna be uploading as much in December, but I am gonna be very active on the Patreon. Live streams, extra cuts, and right now, to make this offer a little bit more enticing, we're uploading this deleted video. It's the Wizard of Oz video, it's a classic. And it's yours on Patreon only. Thank you. I'm, uh... 33, <laughs> probably a little older than the average age of incoming freshmen. Trying to bolster my application though, and I uh, thought my involvement with sports might help. Would you agree? Would you agree? Well, there's me, there's me in Tokyo. Oh. Badminton. Okay. It was real gold, I bet it. Tried to soften up the admissions officers with some images of us doing athletics. So that's me playing, uh, this is Camo oh Polo. My, that's very impressive. So uh, Camo Polo is, uh, is good, man, because they're not as fast as the horse, man, but they are bigger. Yeah, the uh, camels are also more resistant to abuse because, you know, they don't need as much water. <laughs> this is, uh, well, I fancy myself something of a fighter. Look at that. Switch kick, too, not even my dominant leg. Right on the guy's face. That guy, uh, well, the less said about him, the better. This is Manny, big game hunting. Oh my. But he, like I said, man, there's a lot of these guys in, uh, there's a ton of these guys, they are decimating the area. They, they eat a lot of the shrubs and she's, so, so we you're smoke. Doing a service. You're doing a service. Yeah, we're I'm doing, sure doing a service. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you got to admire is he's posing for a photo and the rhino's already been deprived of its horn. Yeah, but that that, that's, was, that's the only thing that's worth shit, man. The rest of it is not worth shit. Well, you left the carcass to sit there and rot after yeah, the photo? Whatever, man. He's bug food, you know, whatever, man. Somebody gonna eat it. That's how you rationalize that? You're feeding yeah. the mosquitoes and the maggots? That's right, man. What do you think about this, buddy? For what? That's me. Armbar. First round. Good for you, man. I don't know if you want, you want to post that anyway. <laughs> I don't need oh, to wait, post Oh, you, wait, you armbar that? Uh, that's damn right. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got that thing. Ripped it off. Hung it on my mantle at home. Look at that. Completely oh, dislocated. Wow. Right there watching, that's, uh, that's my dad. He was proud of me. That's awesome to hear. What are my chances? Uh, better, I'd say. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that gives me confidence. And there's a special somebody that I'm gonna tell that to. Okay. My dad. Oh, good. How did you guys meet? Well, so, him, uh, you wanna give the backstory about how you went from Miami saw. to Dubai? Well, I, I'm Cuban, see, I'm Cuban. And uh, they, uh, my father, he left me, um, in a basket, in a basket, you know, and he left me on the beach. When he, when he swam over from Cuba? Yeah. Arunan Sharif, uh, he, he find me on the beach and he just say, I'm gonna raise this kid. So the next thing I know, I, I you know, from, as far as I remember, I'm in Dubai, you know, I'm, I'm snowboarding on the inside. I, I go skydiving when I'm like seven, you know, I, I have a billion right. dollars in trust, you know, I have a billion dollars, I can do whatever I want and my life has been good. What, was, it, was it Kristen Stewart you lost your virginity to? I don't like to tell people that, but yes, Chris, <laughs> I was I was eight years old. And uh, Kristen Stewart, you know, I, I watched Twilight, man. I watched Twilight, you know, Eclipse. The second one, I like it. I say, hey, man, I look more like the wolf, you know. I'm yeah. more, I'm Team Jacob, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, she was good, man. There were three tri Twilights, or how many were there? There were three, yeah. Three? Or four, because they split the last, the third one, they did two to make, you know, double the money, man. But. His dad, Omar, said that there were five Twilights for Kristen Stewart, because the payday for this guy 
same as one through four. When I was eight, you know, she had a, she broke some laws, but I don't tell a lot of people that story, man, so you gotta keep it on the DL, man. <laughs> hey, take care. Hey, man, Where appreciate you. you. Thank you, man. You, man. What's your name? We're gonna, Brendan. Man, hey, we're gonna first. keep pushing. USC is for us, we think. The scene you're about to watch requires some explanation. While we were trolling campus, a guy approached Leo and I and tried to sell us some shady financial product. While we're screwing with financial guy, a fan approaches and helps us screw with him more in a way that is masterful. What else is masterful? Oh yeah, our new merch we have going in time for Christmas. Both the shirts and hoodies are ultra premium, the highest quality stuff we've ever released, and you can get it right now linked in the description. Also, because I'm a sucker for the holidays, we released the Danny Mo and free the slaves of Egypt t-shirt just today. You know, Moses, the book of Exodus. Also, be sure you hang around to the end of the video because we're going to make this financial scam guy pay. Uh, what's up, man? This is Manny, dude. Have you met Manny? How you doing, man? I'm Manny, man. We're about to do a bit with this guy from... That's he's trying to sell some... Hey, what, what's your name, man? I'm Holden. Holden, you need any help with your finances? Dude, I would love some help with my finances. We got... What's your name again? I'm Holden. Yeah. Holden. Yeah. Okay. Holden. Can you help me with my finances. That's cool. Yeah, he's right. holding cash right now. He needs to deploy it into assets. <laughs> and help him out. I mean, we simply just put together financial programs to help people when it comes to retirement, insurance, <laughs> teach people the money game, and we do programs for people complimentary. First thing is getting trained and then getting licensed, and Get, which people can do trained? all that. Yeah, which they could do all that in 30 days, and it's all hands on. Okay. So. We better clarify that getting trained uh -huh. thing for Manny because uh -huh. he's from Dubai. <laughs> to you, getting trained in Dubai. It, like, it involves a uh, first-class ticket for an Instagram model from Los Angeles. <laughs> what he's referring to is like we do this like seven, maybe to twelve times a year. Mm -hmm. We bring over an Instagram girl. We take a sheet on her face, man. Yeah. We take a sheet on her face, man, and she likes it sometimes. She doesn't like it, but you know she get the money, man. Yeah. It's interesting yeah. how money can retroactively make somebody enjoy an experience, uh -huh. right? Yeah, this is a little different. Uh -huh. it's the, wait, a, a little different. different. <laughs> wait, when you have like you had girls at your disposal for doggy, for the <laughs> for fucking faithful, <laughs> whatever you want, all the time. You know, you want to shit on some girl. You know, you want to shit on a girl, man. Yeah, this is this is a different ball game. So okay, more more professional. <laughs> well, I mean, if you RPG. if you I don't know work hard and you fill that four hundred one k year after year, mm -hmm. you might be able to shit on a girl when he turns sixty five. It's, it costs like 50 to 100K, man. You got, if you got the money to throw away, man, you can take a shit on a girl face, man. Jeez. Holden, how are you doing? You dude, have 50 I'm, to 100K right now? Dude, uh, yeah, I just want to know how to like sell, you know, what are we selling here? Okay. We got to see what they meet the qualifications. Like, uh -huh. are you 25, 55, yeah. are you married, do you have kids? Like, we got to figure out where the person's at before we get to start. My grandma's 80 somebody. and dying. Can I, can I get her like, yeah, so, can life? we do so, so, so it's going to take a different, different approach, okay, a different yeah. strategy. I mean, if Holden, yeah, you, you strike me as a guy who knows his way around a pillow. Oh, love it. Just put it over the bag's mouth. They're not gonna be able to prove anything. But, he, but before, <laughs> yeah. he, so what's the best policy for that? What, how, yeah. What's the best life insurance policy for? The one that doesn't care. Kill my grandma, like, the one yeah. that doesn't care like how quickly you do it, you know, like one week. That's you, gonna be the DA who's saying that in court. He killed his grandma. Oh. Fuck you, DA, you know? You make 120 grand a year, you're yeah. a little bitch. It's like everyone so wants this to guy, see Have this guy seen you before or is this the first he's, time he's meeting you? Uh, it's the first time he's met In person, you know, but he's seen my she video. Because like, oh, okay. He it's, saw the video where I on the girl fade, man. It's. That, I was going to say it's the Ferraris, it's the girls, but it's also occasionally the mistreatment of women that turns young men on. You could say he is the Muslim Andrew Tate. Well, that's redundant, because Andrew make, Tate is, is Muslim. Uh, one time I made one of the girls suck a camel man. Oh, my. You know, some people would say, Manny, that that is degenerate, and I don't really see how it's arousing in any way, shape, or form. Listen, uh, it was for fun for me, man. You know, like, I, I heard, like, you know what I got the idea, man? You know, Hugh Hefner, man, you know, Playboy? Hugh Hefner. Yeah, he used to make the girls the German Shepherd dig, man. So I say, hey, he has dogs, man, he has a German Shepherd. I have a camel, man, you know? Fucking same thing. All right. Know? Well, I mean, in, there's a way you could look at it where it's less cruel than making a girl blow a German Shepherd because at least they can stand and blow the camel. Yeah, they're really tall, man. The that camel, more the camel, like, he, he dig he right around here, man. Right, right, right. So y'all yeah, must have a pretty diverse audience. I, this, this my like here's my, here's my yeah, yeah. only hang up or concern. I, I get like you guys, you know, you have your comedy, comedy and stuff like that, but I don't want my material to get Ooh. tainted with the wrong information. Ooh. Yeah, I wish it was comedy. Let's change the subject. Let's get let's no more camel talk, no more German shepherds, no more.
Okay, man. No more call. And are you trying to get new salesmen? Or are you yeah, trying to rub them? Other people to work with. Well, so I think serious, that you know, 18 or over, they're hungry, they want something better. They're, they're good driven. For you. Like these kind of people, I look for. You know, it's like a thing. It's, it's like it. the guy at the top, uh -huh. right? Then you got two people under here, and then those guys have two under there. So then it kind of look like the like a the pyramid of Giza, right? The only thing is, is that the, the the beautiful thing about our business versus other businesses is that when people come in, they can go from being the newest person in the room to like the, the million dollar earner at the top of the pyramid. You know? mass, yeah, you everybody said? could be everybody. So has it's a very like there. at the, there's a guy at the top and like the company. It's like one guy, then like two, three. Well, not one. Three. I mean, there's multiple people that but, at the top. Who is the CEO? Because the man who built the Great Pyramid at Giza, at least the main one, his name's Khufu. Mm -hmm. Who's the Khufu of Well, this, the CEO of our business, like, he's, he's, he's the person that's overseeing the business, but he's not like, he's like, but everybody that's in the business has their own franchise. Like, there's mo there's multiple levels to it. There's multiple people that are brokers, is what I'm saying. Multiple yeah. level, and then the, uh -huh. you market, and then the pyramids, uh -huh. it's all good. Yeah. Do you or do you not work for a pyramid scheme? No, so this business traded on the New York Stock Exchange, we're on Forbes. Like, you can't be in these things and be a pyramid, that'd be really stupid. Some people, do you know, they don't like the, the fact that, you know, Guys like me take she's on girls from the Instagrams and stuff, and the story about the camel and the, the sucking and the camel and stuff. I just want to apologize, man, for, for bringing yeah. that up. It's it's a lot, Manny. It's 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 a lot. Okay, so we're gonna tamp down on that talk for the rest of the day. Let's uh let's stay focused. Let's stay focused. How you doing, man? I'm Danny. Uh oh, I'm Manny. What's up, man? Sir, do you want to hang out right now? Well, you got an hour, right? I'm assuming it just started. How about we go talk to a random professor? How you doing, sir? How are you? When I, I meet a girl, you know, I, I see a girl, I say, hey, how you doing? Uh, first sentence is like, uh, what's your name or something, I tell my name. And I usually, uh, I usually say a um, thousand, a thousand for a hand job, you know, and... Uh, and uh, right. Which is a little forward, isn't it, professor? That kind of talk and language and stuff, I'm not cool with, like, I don't do that kind of stuff like that. If I'm doing a podcast or something like that with people, like, I like things to be a little bit more more respectful and more formal than the way it was. How's it going, man? There was uh, 15 camels, okay, and myself. I had to lead them for 48 miles. It's kind of a thing you do when you turn 13 in Dubai. No water. And it became evident that the only way to survive was to suck a camel D. Cool. Okay, I'm done with this. I don't want my name or image or likeness to be used. I didn't know he was gonna take that hard left turn either. I thought he was gonna like, I don't know, get water out of one of their humps or something. You sucked a camel's dick, Manny? Sorry about that, right? Manny is, that's just his culture, and I really have been trying to correct that behavior. I don't like it one bit. Hey, Professor. Hey, what's going good on? Good to see you. Uh, I just thought we'd take advantage of the office hours. We were thinking about starting a webcam business, him and I. Mm -hmm. And some people say that it is the 21st century version of pimping, that it's exploitative. So that's the only thing that you need for happiness is money? Well, I guess. I need more than that, man, to be honest. I need, I need good food, you know, I need a... Uh, Which money can buy. A cheerleader to take a he on, you know. Professor, I'm really sorry about that. He's from Dubai, he is... I don't care where you're from. I asked you why you're in my office. That was... Let me, let me just think through my schedule real quick. Based on what I have going on, and let me reach back out to you. Let me just digest everything real quick. No problem. Just shoot me a text. We are at uh, the lovely Holly Day's apartment, and we got a Zoom call in about three minutes with <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. I spoke to him in my car, and I assured him there'd be no funny business. No funny business, man. He didn't like the camel talk. A large number of people do not <laughs> like Leo dressed up like a Muslim talking about camel dick. Camel, camel dick, man. <laughs> you bring up camel dick, man, people will go, oh, it's crazy, man. Multiple people complained to the cops about camel dick comments. So and, many people, yeah. And that was central complaint, is that you kept talking about camel dick. Camel dick, man. <laughs> Looking sexy. 
I want to apologize again, man, for um, Manny earlier. He didn't mean any disrespect. It's just, um, you know, it's his culture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that just kind of caught me off guard. You know? Sure, sure. Well, okay, let's let bygones be bygones, and uh, let's you and I move forward. I'm, I'm really eager to learn. Because I know you're doing the podcast and stuff. Like, I don't know if you're involved in other activities or... Yeah, well, I interned at my dad's real estate firm for a summer, but I was fired sometime around June. What's the reason they fired you? You don't mind me asking. <laughs> Tardiness, absenteeism, handsiness. Tardiness and stuff like, you know, obviously like, you know, for a business like this, especially when you're dealing with clients or where well, you definitely want to make sure you're prompt. Like I keep a planner religiously. Mm -hmm. right, Let me ask you something real quick. Mm -hmm. ETFs or mutual funds? Mutual funds are definitely the way to go. And I'm actually going to show you a fine example. Oh, Danny, you can you f***ing get a hold of Manny, please? He's just Come on, man, I'm trying to take a she. She said 50,000, man. I can take a no, she, man. for real. It's not funny anymore. Like, stop f***ing my mouth. I didn't come here for nothing, it man. I didn't come here for time. nothing, man. You said I could do this, man. I can't. Can you guys get out of my room? Listen, I mean, I, I think uh, she's gonna be trouble, man. I don't wanna, I don't wanna say a lot of, a lot of things, but I, I think something in there that I think we should, uh, we should call the guy that can maybe take care of this, you know. The, is that the, wait, is this the guy from earlier? It's yeah, we were talking hey, about mutual funds. How force. are you, man? Yeah, I, I'm still interested in the business too, man. But listen, do, do you wanna apologize, to actually, for earlier? For what? You were speaking an awful lot about camel penis. Remember that? Oh, you mean the girl that sucked a camel dick? She suck a camel D right in front oh, of like me. You're here too, dude. Oh. oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> 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 <laughs>